the van plan. All right. I can't handle peer pressure, so we're going to move it. Yeah, this little beauty's been back here resting long enough. Here's the plan. Going to have to pull this thing out. Not running. That's going to be harder than it sounds. A lot of hill up that way. And we're supposed to get some rain this weekend. That's all right. Called in some reinforcements. Got two fellas coming over. Got plenty of vehicles for them, so I might as well bring some more fellas in, right? Well, here's what we're going to do. Gonna chain to the front. Push from the rear. And get this dead turd back on top of that hill. Now, just to refresh you, what we know about the old van here is that it was running good. Hit the mud hole. Quit running. No fuel. Does get spark. Hit it with some ether. She lights off. Boom. <clears throat> you know. But I uh, can't hear the pump running. So probably something as simple as pulled a wire out or something or bad connection. Uh, I don't think it's going to be terribly complicated to fix. So that should be cool. Now beyond getting the old girl running. I have some more deviant plans for this. I don't want to get into it in this video as much. But I got some plans. The fellow's cooking some things up. Now, the plan is to go ahead with the buddies here and get a couple videos ahead. Go ahead and bank a few videos. That way I can get more of a better time release on this stuff. And maybe I can get a little ahead. You know what I mean, guys? But I got plans for all these vehicles. I kind of want to do one at a time after I get a couple videos banked up where I take one. My Friday video is me working on it all week, trying to make it, you know, better. And then Sunday, bashing the one vehicle through the woods instead of seven in a row every week or something, you know what I mean? So maybe a couple weeks where it's just one video, at a, one vehicle at a time. And then, you know, maybe we'll, then we'll do a compilation like of all the vehicles smashing through the woods at the same time. It's going to be awesome. Somebody had to get parked in the weeds over here in timeout because of, of bad performance. But guys, I'm real excited about the upcoming months and uh, this channel. I think it's going to be a great summer. Um, my work's kind of slow. The economy kind of sucks right now. But, uh, you know, hopefully I can toe the balance between making money, making these videos, and having a good time. Also, little Honda update. We finally lost an axle, guys. It, uh, it's probably laying on the trail somewhere in between here and there. Um, so I don't know what to do with this thing from here. If I can find that axle and it'll shove back in there and work, I'll do that. I don't think I'm going to buy anything else for this thing. Well, this thing did pretty good too. It, uh, the power steering, man, that is rough in this one. It is a heavy steering wheel. It is really difficult to drive. Uh, it's got very old gas in it. It's a little underpowered because of that, I think. Also, the mice and the nature got in this thing big time. Boy, does it stink. I mean, I really just need to pressure wash the inside of this thing. It, it, it is a far worse smell than I can put on camera. But the little black two-door, ready to go, guys. This thing did great. Didn't really give any troubles. Cleared every obstacle pretty well. Uh, it's probably going to be the pusher vehicle. It's got a little bit of a bumper on it, so, you know, it'll help push that van up the hill. And really, who else would pull? I mean, come on. I figure we'll take old Blue, rip him up the hill. I think the van will come out. Now, I did rip both the metal parts of the bumper out. Um, surprised they lasted that long. They're not really in there very well. They're more of like a kind of a shock deal where they fit inside this hole and then they kind of move. So when you pull on them, they should just pull out. But I pulled it out several times that way and uh, it worked. But, uh, you know, we gained some approach angle. I don't know if that's coming through, but that's pretty cool. Uh, for now, I guess my front hook point is right around here. You can see I'm already taking that away from the frame but i guess i could go around the body mount or something i don't know i don't need any of this stuff i'm not terribly worried about it guys now this is bugging me 
gotta do something about this I don't know when or how but I'd like to just cut this thing the whole trunk off of it it's just in the way and you know of course this thing's pretty much 100% ready to go needs wind in the tire that's pretty much it uh, all reliable here has just been doing her thing being rusty and reliable but if you're new to the channel and uh, you want to see more uh, you can always go back in the archives there's plenty of videos uh, I've made over the past decade uh, four wheeling a lot of uh, rev limiter popping off this old girl you like that stuff go check it out it's it's in a lot of those videos I've never been easy on this thing well it's Thursday morning yesterday I uploaded a few shorts did pretty well I was pretty happy with that I think I need to get on a uploading schedule with those here's the plan once I get all my ducks in a row chickens once I get everything ahead of schedule I think I'm gonna start doing a Tuesday short which will be a highlight of the Sunday video before it and then I'll do a throwback Thursday uh, short from years past highlights of videos from years past and then I think I'll do a Saturday short that's a preview for the next Sunday and then of course Friday talkie Sunday action I think with that kind of consistent schedule I should get more consistent views and I think it'll be good for the channel and they're fun to make I'm uh, I'm enjoying the platform Almost done with the old dump truck here. It's coming back together pretty nice. What a neat old truck. Um, but uh, Sunday's video, I'm probably going to have some of the older cameras in it just because we need to make a really long pull up this hill and we can't stop and reset. Um, so I expect some potato shots, you know, from the old cameras. Make you appreciate the new ones more, right? Well, as far as new cameras go, I've really uh, blew the budget for the year. So maybe next year. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how good work goes. If I can bring in enough money at work, maybe I'll buy some more 4K cameras. But uh, for now, it's going to be 4K, 1080p, and some 720s. Oh, good mix of potatoes. Well, probably should have been filming that. I uh, need to get that fan off there. Don't have one of those clutchy tools. What I do got is uh, one of these. Came right off there. What do you know? Right down the middle. Oh, that room. Oh, this room. It does have a factory electric fan also. I'm just gonna wire that up and turn it on as needed. <laughs> Are you done? Okay. We got the fan hooked up. Uh, it's not great. We just got it grounded, and uh, this is, uh, of course, the switch there. <laughs> hey, we're staying cool. Should be plenty for this. Nature of this uh, excursion for me in this vehicle is go, 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 stop, go, stop. Drill drain plug in the rear seat there. We just taking on some water. Oh yeah. What a beautiful Friday morning we're having here. I gotta wrap this one up, tie it in a little bow, edit it, and get it up to you tonight. But Sunday should be a pretty good video. Got some help coming. It's gonna be a great day. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we'll see you guys there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube algorithm stuff. Check out my shorts. I'm putting up shorts. They're pretty good, I guess. You guys tell me. Um, but start looking for more of those in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.